Now on 13 Action News, live at 5. Now it is like reality, and the excitement is its unbelievable. The new owner of the first major league sports franchise in Las Vegas is chomping at the bits to name the team and start selling tickets. But you may need more than one Las Vegas jersey now that the NHL is breaking the ice. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan joins us live with the plans Bill Foley revealed during a one-on-one -on -one interview, as well as the latest on efforts to bring the Raiders to town. Brian. Yeah, we know the hockey team will call this arena home in just over a year, but the question everybody wants answered is will another professional team join them here at the T-Mobile Arena or somewhere, somewhere else in the area? But my goal is by October 1st we have our have our logo and have our name. We have an announcement party, and we uh, that announcement party, you can buy a jersey or a hat. Bill Foley is already looking to hire scouts to help him find the best players to don those jerseys. That's a big initial investment because we have to get ready for this expansion draft. Uh, and we also get ready for the, the NHL draft next uh, next June. While he's getting a ticket system and team together, Foley also needs to start construction on a building where pros and amateurs can hone their skills. We want to really have an aggressive, uh, uh, a real aggressive youth hockey program. As the team is finalizing plans for its practice facility here at downtown Summerlin, it's with the knowledge it may not be the only game in town for long. <laughs> The main question posed to lawmakers discussing the $1.45 billion stadium project is should they pay more than half the cost through room taxes in order to attract the Raiders. Does it make sense for the community to make a contribution significant enough to bring an NFL team and an NFL stadium uh, to that city? As the committee continues to debate funding and the location of the stadium, lawmakers are approaching the two-minute warning. My biggest concern is that we're going to run out of time. We've got 38 days left and a lot of things still to accomplish. Part of today's presentation included a proposal that would reduce public funding of that stadium by about $200 million, but some committee members raised concerns that, that proposal was presented too close to today's meeting. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News.